Grandpa dropped me off at the Bear Mountain Inn. Skipped a little bit of the road walky part, but I did walk the length of the zoo twice, so I feel like that makes up for it. Trail goes right by the spooky lake. Uh, Hessian Lake. And we are back and ready to go. Ian has like a display of what kind of stuff you'll find on the trail. There's the Puncheon, the Bog Bridge, uh, Corduroy. Oh, I don't like this one. Stepping Stones. Open Culvert. We got to go over here and look at this one. Bridge. Bear Mountain is a mile and a half to the top. If it stays like this, we're unfortunately not going to be able to see New York City. Not even at the top yet. And this section of trail has had the most trash out of any section. I tried to pick up trash, but I've had to stop because there's just so much of it. Point three from the top. Aside from having a lot of stairs, this really hasn't been a bad climb. I think in the summer this would probably be pretty brutal, but just hiking anywhere in the summer is pretty brutal. Hope you enjoy the view of New York City. It's also a tower up here. Sounds like they're doing some construction on whatever that building is. Looks like there was a fire up here at some point. Not until the fog is starting to burn off. Not only was there a fire here, but it was only two months ago in August. I'm on the wrong side of the mountain, but I wonder if New York is visible now. That is Bear Mountain. It's a little bit foggy out, so probably wouldn't be able to see New York anyway. There is a detour in effect over the Palisades Interstate. I believe it was last year a woman was killed while crossing it. According to this, it adds 1.25 miles. There's a lot of comments on fire out saying that you can just run across real easy, but I can't really run right now. My ankle's getting better, but uh, I don't really want to do anything to stress it out, so I'm going to take the detour. That overpass down there is how we're going to get from one side to the other. It's like there's a fair bit of traffic on the road. So glad the detour makes you go up the mountain just to climb back down the mountain on the Tim Torp Trail. We crossed the Fawn Trail before climbing up to the top and we could have just come down this path instead of doing that nonsense. But whatever. Now we're walking over the overpass. There's another detour sign where we came out. There's some white blazes that I can see coming up. Got a sign up here. Going back into the woods. I think there's like two miles left until we get back on track. I guess we're technically on track, but yesterday for Halloween, Grandpa gave me these uh, Skittles. He really cares about the hikers, even though he's not a um, a hostel. He'll, if he has time, he'll come pick you up at the uh, roundabout that's right outside the zoo, and. 
he was really nice and dropped me off in front of that um, inn this morning, so really nice place to stay. Even though you're right next to a road, that's kind of loud, but what can you do? 1400 mile mark for Nobos. Having now walked this trail, I would say when you get to this point, just take the Fawn Trail over here, because otherwise you climb up here, just climb down that rocky section, and that just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then this looks really long, but it's a gentle up. And then we are here. Got a little bit of New York after all. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know if it's gonna show anything very well. This is the most water I've seen all day. There's one water source about a mile back. It was little tiny puddles. New York is super dry. Today's mileage is a little wonky, I think. AT-wise, I did 11.3 and then I had the one and a quarter that was the detour. Because uh, that's not the official trail. And I am a lot closer to New Jersey than I thought. There is 25 miles to the first uh, border crossing and then the trail kind of goes back and forth for a little bit. So that's kind of exciting. Almost done with New York. Thank you for watching, commenting, donating, subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.